Hi, you are welcome to my channel. This wonderful channel provides you with stunning, elegant, creative and educative ideas based on computer techniques. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, consider to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell notification so that you don't miss new uploads. So let's start our tutorials for today. Hi viewers, you are welcome to today's tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about the desktop background and its features or characteristics. Now, the desktop background is the first image or object you see on your computer desktop when you turn on or boot your computer. And this desktop background is a user-friendly interface that helps computer users to graphically interact with the computer to perform so many functions and tasks that is opening of programs, opening of folders, opening of files and other programs or tasks on the computer desktop. In this video, we are going to identify the desktop background and its features that help users to interact with the computer. Now, this is the desktop background and what you see here, this large area or large rectangle area you see is the wallpaper that you see and that is the picture or the image that beautifies the desktop background you can use your own picture or image for this desktop background and this is the first feature or characteristics of desktop background and that is the wallpaper now the next one or the next feature is these items that we have here all these items are called icons when it comes to computing these are icons that represent programs or files or folders on our desktop and when you open any of these icons it display the window of the program on the desktop so that you can interact with the window so these items that you see here are called icons and this is the second feature of the desktop background in these very tutorials the next one is the mouse pointer and as you can see i am moving this pointer on the screen and this is also a feature of the desktop whenever you turn or boot on the computer desktop you will see this pointer which helps you to double click single click or open programs on the desktop it helps you to draw in using your paint application it also helps you to select items also it helps you to select tests that are typed into a word processing application and that is the function of the mouse pointer it also helps you to play game on your desktop and this is also a feature on the desktop background the next one we are going to talk about is the start button and the start button is located at the left bottom corner of the screen this area is the start button and this start button is the doorway of the computer system which keeps installed programs files and folders and all programs are installed in the start button so whenever you click on the start button you are going to have the start menu which is going to display all the applications or softwares or files and folders that are stored in this computing system and that is the start button which is located at left bottom corner of the screen which is also a feature of the desktop the next one is the tax bar the tax bar is the horizontal bar that lies beneath the desktop this bar you see here which is looking very horizontal is the tax bar and it contains the start button and other pin programs and open programs as well as the uh, notification area and this bar is located beneath the desktop that helps you to have your open programs and also to pin your programs onto the task bar for easy access whenever you are performing a task on the computer desktop and this task bar can be relocated on our desktop by placing your mouse pointer on the task bar then you right click on it you are going to have these options 
we are going to choose the tax bar settings and when you click on the tax bar settings you are going to have this interface and in this interface we have the tax bar here and these are the settings you can apply to the tax bar so when you move downwards you will see this option as tax bar location on screen you can decide where to have your tax bar being placed on the desktop and now by default or currently we have the tax bar at the bottom you can choose right and when you choose right you see the effect you can see that the tax bar has been positioned at the right side of the screen when you choose top you will see that the tax bar is positioned at the top of the screen and the last option is the left when you choose left you are going to have the tax bar at the left side of the screen so when you come back to your desktop you see that this tax bar is positioned at the left side of the screen and this is how to relocate the tax bar on the desktop and that is another feature of the desktop background the last one we will talk about is the the notification area the notification area is located at the right bottom corner of the tax bar this area you see is the notification area which we have some buttons like the volume or the speaker icon when you click on it you are going to have the adjustment icon where you can adjust your volume of the speaker we also have the internet icon there where you can access your internet by connecting the computer to the internet we also have the date and time this area called the notification area which is also known as the system tree display the time and dates of the computer system and also we have this notification icon when you click on it this is going to display all notifications that are sent to this computer and you can clear or you can click on it to read any notification that you have on this computer system so these are the features of the desktop background that can enable a computer user to manipulate or use the desktop background or the desktop very well so the icons the pointer the start button the tax bar we also have the notification area and also we have pin programs these pin programs when you have a once click on it it's going to have its window open on the desktop so if i click on the file explorer once i'm going to have the window open on the desktop and this is a pin program we also have other open programs on the tax bar so these are the features that can help users to control the desktop